Hey, what's up Stringalings? Happy New Gear! Today we're going to be talking about this guitar. Let's check it out. So Donner, as you may know, is a company, they're based in China and they've for a long time, long time meaning a few years, have been selling budget effects pedals, uh, some of which are actually on my pedal board more or less permanently as my favorites. Uh, but they've gotten into building instruments as well. And they sent me over this DST400 electric guitar. Um, and I have to say, I am very pleasantly surprised by this instrument. You would think coming in, you know, sort of bias tells us, you know, Chinese instrument in the budget line, it's probably going to be an entry level instrument. Uh, there's a lot about this guitar that is very competitive at about $239 Canadian uh, with a Squire in the same uh, in the same price point. I'm going to give you a little rundown on what this instrument is before we go to play it. So it is an HSS strat that means humbucker and two single coils. Humbucker, single, single, HSS. Uh, which is not a typical strat uh, necessarily for an entry level strat, but uh, I have at least one other HSS guitar and that, that gives you some options in terms of that kind of humbucker uh, grunt as well as some nice um, pristine kind of crystal clear leads. Uh, that's just the hardware. And what's interesting is a lot of times on uh, Chinese models, the pickups are scaled so that they are thinner in the neck position, narrower, I mean, in the neck position, so that the poles sit right under the strings, and then they get wider in each position. These are all the same size pickups, which is good news if you wanted to replace these at some point with uh, uh, a custom or a boutique style pickup. Uh, the guitar comes uh, pre-strung, and I think these are 10 gauge strings. They, they feel like 10 gauge strings. Also included in the package though, just so you're aware, they do throw in a strap. It's just a it feels like a nylon strap. Uh, the Allen keys for maintenance um, for the truss rod and the bridge and various functions, as well as a cable. Um, it's a little on the thinner side as as cables go, but it's not the cheapest cable I've ever I've ever picked up. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has some shielding on it. Maybe we'll test that later on. But it's always nice to throw in a cable. And also, it ships in a gig bag. Full-size gig bag, just like you get anywhere else. Okay, so that's what comes in the package along with the guitar already strung. It's actually already set up. Uh, I was playing with it a little bit and it feels great. The setup is totally fine. The pickups have been adjusted, you know, to be closer on the treble end, just as you normally would. Uh, so already I'm enjoying just the fact that this guitar exists. Let's get into some details though. Uh, so it does have a whammy bar. I put this in, it didn't ship with this in. Uh, this is a pop-in style whammy bar into the two-point bridge. So it's a two-point bridge setup, a little bit easier to do the vibrato with. Um, the saddles are vintage style bent metal saddles. I'll put up a picture in a second with a little bit clearer detail. Um, that's more of a vintage style. Uh, doesn't, to me it doesn't affect the playability at all, it's just a matter of personal taste. Also vintage style uh, are the slotted tuners, like you would see on a Fender. And this is the back of the tuners, as you can see. <clears throat> and of course the string trees for the neck angle. They have done a skunk stripe detail on the, on the neck itself. This is a maple neck, it is finished perfectly. It has an absolutely flawless finish to it. The nut is plastic, the neck is rosewood or some variant of rosewood. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, overall, great feeling guitar, very well constructed. It's got a nice weight to it. My understanding is that this is an alder body and you may be able to make it out on the image. I'll see if I can find a close up as well. It has this great translucent green paint job to it. So you can still see the wood grain underneath. I have never thought about owning a green guitar. I don't know why, I just, I just haven't, but this is a really lush green and it's a really great feeling guitar and a really great sounding guitar. They've done a really nice fret job already. It could use a little bit of, 
of rounding. I think that's just something you do with any guitar when it comes in, you check the, the fret work. Um, but the strap buttons are solid. The spring cover is Fender spec. You can tell by this offset screw here in the middle, right? Um, overall, really fantastic looking and really fantastic playing guitar. Uh, we're gonna do a little test right now. Alrighty folks, we're back and we've got the Donner DST 400 electric here. Uh, I'm gonna run it through a couple of different tone tests just to get a feel for what kind of uh, sounds you can get out of this. Uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit and it's really versatile guitar. I mean, really, really solid. The playing is great. The, uh, not my playing, but the guitar plays really well. Um, and the pickups do what they're supposed to do as pickups. Uh, so let's start with, this is just a really clean sound and I have everything set as it comes in the box. So we're using the bridge humbucker as we give you kind of an idea. Listen. And that's really clean, really clean humbucker tone. If I pull this out, I get my first bridge pickup as a single coil. You can hear the difference, right? It's thinner, it's brighter, it has that kind of single coil sparkle. I do want to point out that they have wired this guitar so that when you are using single coils, the second and fourth position are noise cancelling, as often happens with single coil setups. That doesn't apply when you're in a humbucker position. So in the humbur humbucker mode, it doesn't cancel the, uh, the signal from the middle pickup. So just something to think about. Uh, right now we're in a very, very clean sound. And as you can hear... I have no effects on this. This is Corey Wong uh, archetype from Neural DSP. It's on just a pristine, clean default kind of setting. Nothing funky going on with the EQ. Just a nice clean sound. And even at even playing aggressively. I'm hot rodding my interface more than the amp. I might have to tweak that a little bit in the mix, but you get the idea. So if we're just playing uh, some kind of standard chords, right? Compared to the middle pickup, So as we would expect, it gets a little bit fuller as you move towards the middle of the string. So the um, neck pickup itself. In the fourth position, you get that kind of funky kind of quacksa. Very nice sound. Uh, same in the uh, second position. Really nice sound. The I haven't done anything with the setup. The springs are actually a little bit tight on the um, on the trim system. It is it is flush, so there's no kind of pullback you would get with a floating trim, but. That little dive bomb there actually held its tune fairly well. And in the humbucker position, kind of cool. Let's uh, amp it up a little bit. I'm going to switch my signals here. And I'm jumping over to the Fort and Cali suite. So we got a little bit of dirt on this now. Let me stay in my popped single coil position. You can't hear it. I'm not a lot of buzz. There we go. Right. So a little bit more towards the monitor, a little bit more away. Right. So those things are going to interfere a little bit. Again, we do have noise canceling in the second position. So this is my single coil bridge pickup with a little bit of dirt added. Kind of cool. Right? Uh, 
if you're kind of strumming along, your middle pickup is quite nice for that. <laughs> pickup has that kind of sing-song equal. So some really nice sounding pickups on this guitar. Of course, I'm only using kind of demo level um, uh, plugins here in terms of the settings so very very kind of generic here's some dirt here's some overdrive here's some clean the humbucker though in that bridge position <laughs> really great um, kind of crunchy humbucker sound really nice classic tone to it very cool. Let's switch over to something a little bit more high gain. So now I'm pulling up the Omega Ampworks Granifier. Uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm kind of really into metal these days. And uh, when you give me a humbucker, I want to see if this thing chugs, right? I'm just in a standard E tuning, E-ish. Um, so I'm only using, I haven't done anything with the uh, tone controls on the guitar yet either, but they certainly work uh, just as well. But the, the objective here is, you know, can we get a really nice kind of chug tone out of it? So to be specific, this is the Omega Ampworks Granifier plugin from Neural DSP, and I'm using um, Christian Cola's uh, Eminence DV77 and uh, I think this one was set up with a Swamp Thang uh, speaker um, IRs. So the, the um, responses, the impulse responses are from uh, eminent speakers. They're not from the original plugin, but I still get that crunch. It's, it's quite trebly. Right? <laughs> So you hear, if I go to about uh, five-ish on my tone control on the bridge pickup, it darkens up quite nicely. It's a little mushy down around one. That's not unexpected, right? I like it. One more little test I want to do before my phone battery dies. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> We're going over to the Soldano SLO100 plugin, again from Neural DSP, uh, just to see if we can get some kind of vibey lead sound out of it. So there's a little bit more effects on here. You can hear it already a little bit buzzy. I haven't put any noise gate. <laughs> That is straight up bridge humbucker, right? Um, pull that over to the single. <laughs> so you can hear right away as soon as I put the single coil on, you get that. Popping up to the neck pickup, this is where I like to do a lot of leads. It's always helpful to have a neck pickup uh, comparison for leads because that's where we live quite a bit in lead parts. Okay, 
So I'm going to chalk that up to just sliding off the edge of the fretboard here. Um, but uh, yeah, you get really good sense of the tone with the Soldanos. <laughs> So I really like this a lot. I mean, it's like any new guitar, right? You'll have to kind of play around with it. It's not exactly set up where I would normally do it, but I'm not going to blame the setup for my sloppy playing today. Um, what I'm going to blame is I cut my finger opening the box, but I cut it on the box. Go figure. Uh, anyway, yeah, that is the, the playthrough on the guitar. So you basically got, what, seven positions? So bridge humbucker. Humbucker and middle single, middle single, middle and neck, just the neck, and then you've got your bridge single coil and your split bridge and middle single coils. That's actually one of my favorite sounds on this guitar, a clean. That's actually one of my favorite sounds on this guitar is a clean sound. Cool. So that's the test on the DST-400. One little aesthetic thing that I want to point out too, I don't know that I would go with the cream uh, cover on the zebra stripe in this position. Everything else is white, so going with the cream is a little bit of a, um, a departure. I, I think it's a style thing because it, it looks like a, a second or third party pickup, but uh, really you can't complain just on the basis of that. It sounds great, it plays great, it plays and sounds a lot like a typical single coil guitar. And my one of my favorite features is that they put in a push-pull pot to split this coil. So you've got three single coils or two singles and a humbucker, depending on your application. That makes it a very, very versatile and handy guitar to have in your collection. Doesn't cost very much. This is a really good contender for um, any beginner coming in or to have a couple of backups in your in your stage rig really really good solid contender it's it's very comparable to a lot of squires in that price point uh, the affinity series in particular uh, that I've played uh, really I can't say enough good things about this guitar uh, yes the video is sponsored by Donner but I do not give reviews for things that I don't like that's kind of my rule so um, you can head over to Donner Canada and pick this guitar up, or you can use the Amazon link. I provided both links below. Uh, they are affiliate links, but that's just part of how we do business online. But uh, I would not make this recommendation if I wasn't planning on hanging onto this guitar. Uh, it's a really great instrument uh, for for beginners or for uh, intermediate players who need a good backup in their in their collection. Um, yeah, head on out. Grab one of these, and if you like this video, you want to see more reviews, hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe as well, and uh, I will see you next time.